Look, I'm sorry this is such a major inconvenience for you, but... Oh, God! <laughs> what are you doing? Downward-facing dog. What? It's yoga, Charlie. Oh. Could your dog possibly face upward while we talk? Fine. Ah, jeez! What the hell's the mutt doing now? Charlie, just say what you came to say. Okay, well, are you aware that I'm a misogynist? Really? I raised you Episcopalian. <laughs> this isn't funny. My anger and mistrust towards women starts with you, which wasn't a problem until it spilled over into my sex life. So, you're blaming Mummy because little Charlie can't come out and play? Okay, first of all, we don't call it little Charlie. What do we call it, darling? We don't call it anything. Well, when you were a baby, we called it Mr. Pinky. I may never have sex again. Oh, wait a sec. Mr. Pinky was the cat. What do we call your penis? It doesn't matter. The point is, it isn't working anymore. And somehow it's all tied up in some sick, twisted knot with you. Mr. Pee-Pee. That's it. Well, you can see why I confused that with Mr. Pinky. Mom, I learned about relationships from watching you. <laughs> and you know what toxic little lessons I learned? Tell me, sweetheart. I learned that men who get emotionally involved get stepped on. I learned that men who get married get emasculated. I learned that the best way to not get your heart broken is to pretend you don't have one. You learned all that from me? Yes. Darling, I've never been more proud of you than I am at this moment. You're joking, right? Not at all. For the first time, I look at you and I see myself. Oh, that's just insane.